What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back. We're ready to go into the demon ruins. Well, I guess properly go into the demon ruins, you know. Just killing ceaseless discharge. It's not really much the demon ruins. Um, so, while these are the same demons from before, um, Capra in particular will hit pretty fucking hard. Uh, just to show you with the shield. You can see just how much stamina he goes through there. Oh no! Ooh, ah. But he's still kind of a bitch. So anyway, take out that Capra. Go on and chug a little bit. Uh, we do have a bonfire just up ahead that we're going to be grabbing. So. Get that soul item, follow the path down. Oh wait, I forgot. Hang on. Gotta go back. Forgot that Kirk will invade us here. So we're actually going to hop back to the bonfire real fast and uh, get back our humanity. Uh, if you want, you could kindle this bonfire. Honestly, I don't really think it's going to be necessary. Uh, the boss for this area is very similar to the Asylum and Stray Demon. He's basically identical to the Stray Demon. So, uh, you know, if you remember killing the Stray Demon, you will do absolutely fine killing Fire Sage Demon. <laughs> Just making weird noises. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Must be the Dubstep Demon. But, uh, psh. Anyway, so we're gonna go this way. We'll kill Capper again. Ooh, slid on down. Slide on down here. Don't want to be losing any health. Ah, oh, still lost health. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last episode, but of course those Taurus demons do not respawn. Uh, you can get the weapon off the Capra, but as another reminder, you can also buy that stuff from uh, Shiva of the East over by the Water Wheel in Blight Town as well. Ah, douche! I love big dick weapons because it smashes demons all day. Do, 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 do. Where you at, Kirk? Where you at, Kirk? Come on in, Kirky. So you can see the two demons right there. Um, and we wait for Kirk. So what we're going to do is fight past demons, fight past demons, fight past demons, and then go down, and there's a bonfire right there. If you're worried, you can drop down now and access the bonfire. Honestly, I would just suggest fighting your way past the Capra demons. They're not that bad. Um, but, you know, you, you can drop down. If you're worried about it, you certainly can do that. Um, as for some other things, let's see. Um, two sets of Capra demons, solo one. Three poison arrows, each will poison them. Uh, you go down the stairs, kill the fire statues, grab the soul item around the corner for a green titanite, kill the worm. So, I mean, I guess we could just drop down right now. Um, but I want them souls. These boys got them souls. Plus, they're not that bad. I mean, honestly, I shouldn't say that. I am running around with a plus five Black Knight Greatsword, which is a beast of a weapon. But so, anyway, after you have killed those Capra Demons, um, we're going to go this way. And we have Fire Statues. So, these things are pretty slow. Um, they can hurt quite a bit if you're not careful. Just something to keep in mind that fire can... Hook you. Grab the soul of a proud knight. And you should be able to go this way and go around. Green Titan Knight Shard. There is the worm. Now, these worms are the bane of melee players. I mean, honestly, they're, they're terrible. They hit really hard. They can grab you. They're just really annoying. Um, two poison arrows is all you need to get the poison off on him. Um, you can see he's guarding the bonfire as well. I'm going to try and get us some boops in on him. That was a good boop. That was a good boop. Worm's dead. Grab the soul of a proud knight. 
Hit up the bonfire. You are going to want to rest here just so that if you do die at the boss, uh, you don't got to run past all the cameras again. The worms do not respawn. That's also something worth mentioning. So we're going to head towards the statues now. A bunch of statues as we make our way down the stairs, as you can see. Up ahead, we got some more worms, some more Taurus demons. Here comes the Taurus demon. And there's our worm. Same as before. Two poison arrows. Alright, now make a left from here. Um, Donald's just, just wait, you know, there's no point, um, dealing with that worm for now, it'll die. So instead, we're gonna continue on our way, and we'll kill this Taurus demon. And we will have another Taurus demon, right there. So while we got the Chaos Ember, uh, the Large Flame Ember is all the way down there in a the chest. Now there are going to be five more worms that are going to ambush us as we run through this. Um, best way to go is going to be just run, run past the worms, get that chest. Now we'll poison them all. Last one. I don't know if I can see him. Uh, he's right behind this one. Let's try and get this guy with the big boot. Oh! Ah! You can see this is why I don't like getting involved in melee with these things. Look at that. Two hits! It's like most of my health, and they're just spinning around, poisoning everything. They're obnoxious to deal with. There we go. I can see your little face. Gotcha. Alright, so I can't get the last worm. The last worm is behind all of them. You can kind of see it a little bit behind these two. But, um, you know, it's going to be hard. Let's see if I can get him. Nope. Yep. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. Just going to wait. I wrote to just wait in the walkthrough, and I'm going to stick to that. It's just not worth it. Like, even doing a jumping attack, you know, I might land a hit on them, but they hit so hard. Uh, you can, you know, of course, speed the process up with some arrows. My bow isn't really leveled up high enough to do much, so it's going to be better to just wait. And honestly, this is this is like melee problems, you know? We can run, we can absolutely smash through Capra Demons, through Taurus Demons, through just about everything. But when it comes to giant obnoxious worms like this, dude, if you're a caster, you're just like, boop, 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 and they're done. They're dead. Like, life as a caster is easy mode except for when something rushes you, in which case melee is clearly the superior choice. So anyway, uh, after this we're going to head back the way we came. going to be two statues near the fog that we're going to kill, and then a Capra off to the right with a soul item. Uh, to the right of the fog is a passage, and we're going to jump down the ledge, go to the right, grab an item there, uh, aim to drop down, and that is the door that will be opened if you had donated the 30 humanity to the Chaos Sister in the previous episode. Uh, we'll have the maggots over there. Um, specifically, the red eye maggot is the one that we need to take out. That drops the sunlight maggot helm. So, that is our goal for this is basically save Solaire's life and then make our way to the Fire Sage Demon. Every time I do this, it's such a testament to just how ridiculous poison is. I can boot this one. Let me try. Okay. 
Running attacks should be enough. First one that we killed, he should be dead. Or the po first one that we poisoned. Oh, he's not yet. How are you not dead? Did your poison wear off? I know I poisoned you. Oh, it did! Wow. Well, now you're dead. Asshole. Alright, <clears throat> so go on up. Oh, here are the two fire statues that I mentioned. Capra and the soul item. And now we go rescue Soul Air. So go this way. Tricky to get onto that ledge. That. Take a little bit of fall damage here, but just target right. And here is our shortcut. <clears throat> so the reason I'm saying this is a shortcut is it'll take us back to uh, it'll take us back to uh, Isolith is where the bed of chaos is. Kill all these maggots. We don't need to kill all the maggots, but I am. As a reminder, this will only work if you donated 30 humanity. This is... yep, that's the one we had to kill. We got the Sunlight Maggot. So as long as you kill the Sunlight Maggot one, you're all set. Um, it's actually a pretty useful helm. We're going to be using that later because it just gives us like a natural source of light. So it makes it all shiny. So makes things really, really easy in dark areas. But that one dead, Solaire is now saved. Oh, hang on, that's right. There's a lizard up ahead. We're going to go kill that real fast, too. Almost forgot about Mr. Lizard. They're like, no, the sword man! Die, maggots. Oh! Got it. Um, so you could technically go this way right now and do the Bed of Chaos. I wouldn't recommend doing that yet. You'll be missing a lot of different items. Alright, so up next we got the uh, Fire Sage Demon. The Fire Sage Demon, he's honestly, he's like identical to the Stray Demon. He just looks a little different. Um, very weak to bleed, has the explosions, butt slam, you get the idea. Um, he also does magic damage, despite being called the Fire Sage, which is... Whatever. We'll just say he's an idiot. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you've fought this thing before. I don't think I need to explain anymore how to beat it, you know. Just gonna go in and beast mode him.
by this point in the game, this guy's basically a pushover for you. Alright, so, with him dead, we have a bunch of fire statues up to kill. Drop something in that room. I need to go back and grab it. That's fine, though. We're going to be going up this and then going down in a moment. Uh, so at the top of this is going to be an elevator. That'll bring us back to Quaylog's domain. Uh, the same area where we paid the 30 humanity, so... Basically, if you hadn't done the 30 humanity thing yet, you can do it right now. Um, we're actually not going to go up, but we are going to just trigger it, get it to move. Oh. And that's uh, one of the things with elevators is um, <clears throat> the elevators, as soon as you trigger an elevator, it's active on both ends. So just something to keep in mind. I'll grab this real fast. Head on out. And we got one more boss fight this episode. So, I'm gonna head on down the stairs. This bonfire. Mm, might as well spend the souls real fast. Uh, let's keep getting strength up to 40 for that excellent scaling. Around this way, there is a soul item right below us, so just down, snag that. Similar to before, you're going to drop, probably take a little bit of damage, but you should be fine. On this boss fight, it's actually not a bad idea to kindle. You you can potentially take a lot of damage here. And here's Solaire. Fill up summon Solaire. Um, so we're about to fight the Centipede Demon. Which is, uh, I'd say, significantly harder than the Fire Sage Demon. Um, but the biggest part of this fight is just avoiding the lava. There's lava all over the place. Um, the boss is completely immune to fire damage. So if you're a Pyromancer, you're kind of shit out of luck here. Um, Solera can stand safely in the lava and help spank the boss. Um, some main things to look out for, he does this crazy arm throw thing where his arm will like, extend out. Um, that's pretty brutal. Just roll. Don't try and block it. Uh, he'll jump up and do a big slam type attack. Honestly, the best strategy here is going to be to just get under his legs and slash away. Anytime he jumps, roll on out. There are two main places in this fight that you can really take him on. There's kind of a middle area that's somewhat open or all the way, like as soon as you run into the room, there's like a back corner area you could go uh, and that also works. Personally, I like the middle area. I feel a little claustrophobic going for the back corner, but there's also a green titanite back there. Um, we can cut this thing's tail off to get a ring making us immune to lava, but regardless, after we kill it, we get that ring as well. So, unless you're having like a ton of trouble with the lava and want to try to cut the tail and get the ring and then fight him again, I would just you know take him on and then get it after the fact. Really cool boss aesthetically. So that's the platform where I'm going to be fighting. Oh boy, there's the arm extension thing. Top off. That's the other back platform by the Green Titanite. As I mentioned, I just like being over here. I think this is slightly safer. You're, you're kind of already seeing why uh, I made the suggestion that you should uh, kindle the bonfire further. 
This guy can do a lot of damage really fast, but it's not like it's not that bad. Um, you know, Solaire is doing a lot of the work for us. We just need to lure him over here. The big thing is I need him to come more onto the land. That's like you know, the hardest thing is there's just fucking lava anywhere. I can't really. Oh, you went real high that time. Let me try this. Did you get out of that lava and come onto this platform so I can move on you? Oh no. He got me with the grab. I've not actually seen that grab attack in so long, I forgot he can even do it. Centipede Demon. Kind of an annoying fight, right? Um, so anyway, we're gonna do this. I forgot about that. I guess we're doubling up. It's honestly a pretty easy fight if you're um, like a magic caster or a lightning caster. Just pain in the ass if you're a pyromancer and as a melee it tends to be a bit of a pain as well because of the obvious reasons here. Um, one thing you could do is of course put on the uh, gold black hem set to reduce the fire damage from the lava. Even then I still wouldn't suggest just trying to outright fight this dude in lava. It's just, you know, it's not worth it. Um, it's, it's really gonna, just going to be a, I don't know, it's like a guessing game, you know, you gotta, can I get in and hit, is he going to jump back into the lava? But it's not a particularly difficult fight, it's, you know, the world mechanics of uh, dealing with all the lava that makes this hard. Uh, just to show you guys the the other strat, if we go back here. A little bit easier to go this way at the start of the fight. Because, you know, you don't have to deal with the arm roll. You're going to take a bunch of lava damage, of course. Go back here, grab the T-Green Titanite. And you can see we have a pretty solid open area over here to fight him. Um, the big problem, in my experience, is just back here, you know, you're kind of backed into this corner, so... It can feel a little claustrophobic, but uh, you definitely have more space to fight him here. And if he is being obnoxious and staying in the lava like he was over there, this is where you're going to want to go to take him on. I did not mean tried to roll. Oh no, he's going to hit me. Oh boy. How about you come closer into this, instead of just being an asshole and spamming one attack? No, 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 no! That's like the worst case scenario. Roll off the giant boss into the damn lava. boss in the game, the camera. So 
so annoying. Alright, so with him dead, we got the orange charred ring. You're gonna wanna put that on. Now we're gonna run over to where that fog's at. You can see now the lava does like next to nothing, so. If you had trouble getting the items that was on the lava earlier, where we did the whole uh, black tem quick roll ring strat, now you can obviously easily go pick it on up. I honestly still recommend just getting it then because it's just that much easier. Here's Solaire, and you can see he's kind of sad now. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Why? After all... So, yeah, you can tell he's a little sad, but he will live. And if you didn't do the thing, the next time you encounter him, he would try to attack you and have a maggot stuck on his face. So, trust me when I say you did the right thing here. But anyway, at this point, level on up whatever stats you're focusing on. And in the next episode, we're going to be tackling Lost Izalith.